Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss about how technology has changed entertainment over time. According to the Google Dictionary, entertainment is the action of providing or being provided with the amusement or enjoyment. There are many types of entertainment, listening to radios, watching movies, playing games, social media, reading novels, telling jokes, etc. In this video, we're going to only discuss the three main types of entertainment, which are gaming, watching movies, and listening to music. Gaming has obviously been drastically changed due to computers, but to first understand how it changed, we need to understand what classifies as games. According to Google, games are basically a form of play or sport, especially a competitive one, played according to rules decided by skill, strength, or luck. With this, we can find early examples of games. Games back then were mainly simple sports. Running, javelin, throwing are common types of games back then. Over time, games like tic-tac-toe and other board games were invented. But when com computers were commonly used, games like Pac-Man started appearing. Eventually, simple games like the one previously mentioned start to get boring and more mechanics in the game are needed. With the ever-growing computer technology, games start to become more complex because now the programming systems have way more possibilities. With computer technology, not only has the complexity of games increased, the accessibility of games has also drastically increased. You see, back then, if people wanted to play games like Pac-Man, they would need to go to an arcade to play the game. But now, due to the mass producing of laptops and handphones, more people can play the games and they can play it anytime. Due to computers, games have also made people connect with one another and making friends. Because computer made online multiplayer games possible, now, not only can people play with friends that are far away, but they can also make new ones from different countries. If you love watching movies, you might be aware of the impact of technology towards the world today. If you see way back in time, it's truly amazing on how far movie industries have changed the world. Movies have had many improvements over time, such as going from black and white sound films to what we have today like flat-screen TVs, apps where we can watch movies from our smaller devices, etc. Technology has brought changes in films, both in the way they are made and in the way we watch them. Cameras, for instance, they have experienced a huge change as technology developed. In 1880, to produce a short movie or video, they had to have a series of images on a film strip, which will be put into a projector, and will show on a flat surface or a wall of some sort. After that, new ways of capturing and sequencing have been introduced through the years. Like today, filmmakers use film cameras or movie cameras to record clips and scenes for movies that we watch almost every day. It might seem difficult to recall films that were made without CGI or computer-generated imagery. CGI is the use of computer graphics for special effects. This technology was first used in 1973's Westworld. It was originally used to create a two-dimensional interpretation. CGI is the use for special effects because the quality is often higher and the effects are more controllable. This has now become the standard for both effects and animation in films, creating scenes that are incredibly realistic. Of course, none of this would be possible without the massive increases in computer technology that allows for the creation of images. But, CGI is costly and time-consuming, sending film budgets sky-high. However, as technology continues to move forward, CGI is going to be better, such as the recent accessibility of CGI softwares and increase of computer speeds that has allowed artists and small companies to create professional-grade films from their home computers. In the past, Thomas Edison invented a device called phonograph. It can record and play music. But during that time, the quality of the music is very bad. Many years after that invention, people are using cassettes for listening to the music. The music was played from left to right, and when one set is done, people flip it over to listen to another song. After a few years, they use CDs to listen to the music where they can skip the song to listen to the song they wanted to. Then, iPod was invented. It was the first device where people can use to upload songs digitally. Now they are using touchscreen phones. They can also connect to the Wi-Fi nearby 
so that people can download and listen to the songs offline. Since people nowadays usually bring their phones everywhere they go, they can listen to the songs whenever and wherever they go. They can directly open the app from their phone and enjoy the music. People also can listen to the music using their computers. They can just download the songs from the computers so that people can listen to the music when they are working, playing games, and doing homework. And so we are going to wrap it up here. Thank you for watching our video. Until next time.